this is we're living in 21st century. Finally, we medical professor uh, professions found the exact cause of diseases. 最终，我们的科学家终于发现了引起疾病的原因。for a long time, we human beings had many different theories about why disease is developing in our body. Well, sometimes we are trying to explain the disease as the result of the having too much bad blood in our system. Or even, uh, uh, even some evil spirit came into us, so that's why we're sick. There are so many different theories about the cause of the diseases. Finally, we doctors found out why disease is happening. See, our body is made of all different kinds of cells. The brain cells, liver cells, skin cells, lung cells, etc. And so, uh, since our body is made of all different kinds of cells, if all the cells of our body functions normally, then we're normal and we're healthy. If your liver cell functions abnormally, then you have liver problems. Uh, let's say you have a liver cancer. What does that mean? That means your liver cells uh, character changed. Your liver cell become abnormal cells. What do we mean by Abnormal cells. Well, of course, that means your liver cell changes. Therefore, your liver cell does not really function normally. Then, what really determines the function and the character of the cells? When you open the cells, and there is genes in the nucleus of the cells. Well, let's take a look at the cell. And this is cell membrane. And inside the cell, this is the most important structure of the cell. This we call nucleus. So we cut open the nucleus and then magnify them. And here inside the nucleus, we see DNA. A bunch of DNAs. And these DNAs are making genes. Genes are just like a program in your computer. Well, let's uh, take a look at the genes now in the magnified picture. Okay. And uh, And this is chromosome. And this is this is this is like a thread. And this is genes. And 
if you and this is long thread tangled together there. And there are many, many genes in this chromosome. So if you if you pull this this thread, and you you have this long thread like this. So this we call chromosome. And chromosome is made of all the genes here. Okay, if we magnify magnify this portion of the gene here, it look like this. There's two lines, and in between two lines, there are four different kinds of chemicals. This four different kind of chemical is represented as a picture here, different picture. Green, blue, and yellow, red. And this chemical, represented as a different picture here, we call base. And this is and they are this they are these bases are assembled together. So you can say the gene has assembled structure. Okay, let me show you all different parts of the gene. Here, four different kinds of base here. Uh, a, T, G, C. And this white segment uh, composing the lines. Even those lines are composed of all short segments of the line. Oh, and this line is chemically speaking, this line is composed of sugar. Uh, and uh, so there is a phosphoric acid in between sugar. Uh, and attaches the sugar molecule and make it long line. See, this, this is long line. Okay. So in between these two lines, their bases are paired together and assembled together. And this unit here, one part. And this is another part. Another part. This one unit we call DNA. So, so DNA is made of one base and the sugar and the phosphoric acid. And these four different DNAs can be uh, assembled together like this. So these are the when this is assembled and here two two lines. Uh -huh. Lines and there the four different bases. So I want you to remember that gene has this assembled structure yeah, with four different parts. But actually, six different kinds of chemicals. Like four different bases. 
A T G C A T G C 这四种不同的酒精 and sugar part 好 and phosphoric acid 还有酸 so it is very simple 很简单是吧 so the the DNA is which composes our genes DNA 组成了我们的基因 and made of simply six different chemicals 实际上就是简单的六种化学物质物质组成的。Uh, phosphoric acid and sugar and four different bases. ATGC. It's easy to remember. Yeah, very simple. Don't think the genes are very difficult to understand. And, and scientists found out these two. Uh, By no, bonding is very weak bonding. 科学家们发现，其实这两种不同的化学物质的组成很容易打破。Scientists call this bonding a uh, hydrogen bond. 把它称作氢结合。氢结。氢结。And it is it is very easy to bond. 很容易结合。And very easy to be separated. 也很容易分开。It only requires very weak energy to have them separated. So they call scientists call them weak bond. So genes. So I, I I want you to understand that the genes are easily disassembled. So I want you to understand that the genes are easily disassembled. And very easily assembled back again. Yeah, isn't that interesting? It is just like a, a zipper. Uh, zipper, zipper on your own, yeah. Unzip and it's open. And zip it up. So the genes are very inter genes have very interesting structure. And I'll tell you why gene has this kind of uh, uh, assembly structure. Because gene always need to have you know, to be opened and closed. The reason why is the gene need to be copied. You know? Ah, this reason is because the gene need to be copied. And uh, Uh, and gene need to be multiplied. Ah, yeah. so, so to be copied, it need to be open. And after successful copying process, and they close again. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. But so because of this assembly structure, the structure of the gene can change. So the gene is able to change. And this is a very important thing we scientists learned in this 20, uh, the end of the 20th century. This is why in the 21st century, we have a very important thing. I know most of you never even imagined that the gene can change. We always thought the gene never changes. You know, if gene does not change, you know, if gene does not change, cell will never change. The reason why is because genes are the program of the cells. You know, you have a computer. Uh, there's many programs uh, in your computer. Many programs are installed in your computer. If there is something wrong with the uh, program, then your computer will function abnormally. The each cell in your body is working like a computer. Every single cell has its own program. So liver cell has a liver program. Brain cell has a brain program. Yeah. And so, if all the genes are functioning normally, 
then the cell is normal healthy cells. 如果我们的细胞都能基因能够正常的工作，我们的细胞就是正常的正常的细胞，我们就是健康的。But if gene changes, 但如果基因改变呢？Then your cell function abnormal. 你的细胞的工作就开始变得不正常。And let me show you what is really this these four different bases do. 我想大家看一看这四个碱基，它们到底是怎么样起作用的。and a scientist study. This gene, uh, this DNA work like a letter. DNA, its function is like a letter. Just like an alphabet. Like a letter. The three different DNA put together, it become like uh, this uh, one uh, vocabulary. 如果你把三个不同的DNA基件放在一起，碱基放在一起，它会组成一个单词。When you have, uh, when you connect all these, uh, all different kind of vocabulary together in one line，如果你把它组成为一条线，then it becomes sentence，就变成了一句话了。And the sentence is uh, like a genes. Yeah.其实呢，这一句话就像是基因一样。when genes are bound together, 当基因被组合在一起的时候, making one big clump of the gene, this we call chromosome. And this, in the chromosome there are many genes. 在染色体里面有许多的基因, and this means there are many sentences in this book. 就比如说在一本书里有许多许多句话, and in human being cell, there's 23 different chromosomes. And the scientist numbers them, number one, number two, number three, two, uh, number 22, and XY chromosome. And it's just like having 23 books. And the scientists call this book of life. And the scientists have been really trying to figure out what kind of function genes are installed in this chromosome. Well, if you understand the chrom uh, uh, computer, and this chromosome may uh, work like a hard disk. Well, your computer has two hard disks. Two different hard disks, like C drives and D drives. Yeah. But in, uh, our cells has 23 different heart drives. That means 23 different kinds of chromosomes. So, uh, the scientist who, who's uh, figuring out what kind of genes in which, in one chromosome, uh, and they're trying to figure out what kind of chromosome and how many in one chromosome. Uh, and uh, 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 that kind of uh, uh, research project, scientists call Human Genome Project. So, so that's how scientists came up with the gene map. Let's say you have, let's say you have, if you have diabetes. And diabetes is also caused by gene change. Well, nobody ever thought uh, diabetes is hereditary disease. A cancer is gene problem. If many genes are changed in one cell, 
And that cell become cancer cell. And so, uh, when genes can change in uh, different uh, gene change, then it become different diseases. And this is a very important discovery through human genome project. As many of you already know, the Human Genome Project is almost more than 99% completed. So scientists know 99% of uh, genes on 23 chromosomes. And the director of the Human Genome Project in USA, Dr. Francis Collins, he said, now we can read Book of Life. Before we could not read it. And so, let's take a look at gene map. And you'll be very surprised that many of the diseases we know today are all caused by gene changes. So let's take a look at gene map. Then another name for gene map is human genome. Human genome. genome. Uh, let me show you right here. And human genome. Genome, just uh, you can say in English. And this is a chromosome number one. Number two. Number three. Number three. And uh, chromosome number one is the longest and tallest. The chromosome number two is a little bit shorter than number one. And number three is a little bit even shorter than number two. See, number four. Number five. They're getting shorter and shorter. Okay. Chromosome 14, much shorter. Okay. Chromosome 19, very short. And chromosome 22, very short here. Look at here. If you have this gene right here, changed, then you have a leukemia. And look at this. If you have a this gene here on chromosome number 18, you have pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you have this gene changed here, right here, then you have atherosclerosis. Mm -hmm. And let's go somewhere else. Oh, breast cancer. Uh, on chromosome 17, mm -hmm. if you, this gene changes, then you have breast cancer. This is very surprising. All the disease are due to the gene changes. In other words, the program changes in the cell. Alright, let's uh, take a look a little bit more here. Uh, yeah, epilepsy. Yeah. Epilepsy. 
uh, obesity. And uh, diabetes. Alzheimer's disease. Glaucoma. Because of colon cancer, or lung cancer, all these diseases, and scientists call used to call adulthood disease. Uh, adulthood, the, the sickness. Yeah. Sickness in this uh, adulthood, like uh, over 50s or 40s and 50s. Yeah. These are all due to the gene changes. But nowadays, in Western countries, all these diseases are also uh, appearing on very young generation. Like uh, uh, 30, 40 years ago, no, no one had breast cancer in the 20s. When I was in medical school in 1960s, we have never seen any uh, breast cancer patients among age group like a 20, 30, 40s. But today, uh, the wealthy countries have all these uh, diseases in very young age. So, uh, so, in many different countries, uh, scientists call now all these different diseases lifestyle diseases. Or life habit disease. So this is lifestyle or life habit definitely cause diseases. So we can see that the life habit and the life habit can cause diseases. By changing the genes. This is very shocking news for the people today. First of all, we or the the. General population never, never imagined that the gene can change. But now, as I mentioned before, the gene has a certain structure, like a uh, assembled structure. With the all different kind of the six different parts put together. And uh, uh, that's why the assembled structure is not really solid structure. And the assembled structure can be easily disassembled and reassembled. And therefore, the parts can be replaced. So, the human, uh, human gene, which has assembled structure, can easily change its structure. So therefore, cell changes in its function. Because the gene determines the function and the character of the cells. Can you imagine? I, I, I'm a physician myself. I have never imagined that our lifestyle can change genes. Because 
You know, actually, it is so difficult to change genes. You know, to change the genes, you have to study very hard. And you must learn the special technique to modify the genes. You can cut certain segment of genes. And put it in different places. And it is very, very difficult to uh, make a, a normal cell, cancer cell, by uh, by technically altering the genes. Today we have many, many cancer patients. And uh, are they all so well educated and they learn the technique to change the gene themselves? <laughs> no, definitely. Not. They didn't even know what the genes are. But they successfully changed their genes. They changed normal genes into cancer genes. With lifestyle. How to eat. You know how to think. Whether you do the regular exercise or not. Whether you drink water instead of Coca-Cola or all the coffee, all this bad kind of unhealthy drinks. Your cells need water. Are you inhaling all the clean, good airs? And all these kind of uh, conditions for the cells influence genes. Yes. And so this is this is this is important to remember that your gene can be influenced by the environment. So as you live every day you must provide the good, healthy environment to the genes. And uh, uh, so if you, if you provide a bad environment, the genes become very unstable. So uh, Let's say if you're really eating very healthy diet. Uh, and with very well balanced nutrition. Then a person smokes cigarette. Smoking cigarette. And you know, from cigarette smoke, we have many different kinds of carcinogen. The carcinogen is a chemical which uh, hit the gene and damage the genes. So as we smoke, people smoke, they're inhaling many different carcinogen, bad chemical which can and damage the genes. So if gene damage accumulate, without being repaired, you know, then eventually those genes become abnormal genes. And those cells which has this uh, altered, changed abnormal genes become cancers. 
，当这些细胞有着这些改变了的不正常的基因，这些细胞就变成了癌细胞。So, so now we doctors know. 我们现在医生已经明白。That your lifestyle influences the structure of the genes. 你的生活方式正在影响着你的基因结构。If the structure of the gene changes. 如果你基因的结构改变了。And the cell changes. Your cell also changes. And then, what is the what is most important structural changes in the genes? What is the most important point of structural changes in the cells? Is gene gene change the most important most important point of structural changes in the cells? Okay. Now, since we, today we know. We know that the genes are the letters. Today, we have already understood that genes are like letters. It is letter changes. It is these letters that change. And what is the most important point of structural change in the genes? Okay. 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 Like a J O Y. A J O Y 组合成喜乐。J O Y means happiness. J O Y 就指的快乐，喜乐。But if you put this this alphabet in different sequence. 但是你把这三个字母换一个顺序来组合。啊啊 ，like instead of joy, you put the J and the Y the other way around. 嗯，不不像是这样 ，J O Y 变成了 Y O J。Yeah, Y O J。Then it become yours. Yeah, Y O J. Yeah, Y O J doesn't mean happiness. Y O J 就不是喜乐和快乐的意思。Y O J doesn't mean anything. 它什么都不是。So this is exactly what's happening in your cells. 你的细胞实际上就是这样的。And there's four different alphabet in your gene called A, T, G, C, right? 我们用四种字母呢来命名这个基因 A, P, G, C. So scientists now define human being differently, like this. 所以呢，科学家们会把这个人类呢按照不同的这个部分来给它分区别开。Now scientists look at human being. As a bunch of letters here. 把人看成不由文字来组成的。Okay, and look at this here. 大家看一下这部分。All different A G C T T C A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. These are the letters. 这些都是文字。The letter has meaning. 这些文字是有意义的。So, if this Sequence of the letter changes. 如果这些文字的顺序改变了 ，Right here we have A G C. 比如说这个地方，我们的这三个文字是 A G C. If this A goes to this place, 如果这个 A 到了 C 的位置，大家看一下 ，And C comes back where the A was. 然后 C 又到了 A 的位置 ，Then you have all different genes. 然后你的基因就变了。Abnormal genes, 变成了不正常的基因 ，which make your cell totally abnormal， 使你的细胞完全的不正常。See, so that's why we need to keep our gene normal. 所以我们需要使我们的基因保持正常。The normal sequence of these four different bases called ATGC. 使这个 ATGC 变成它们保持它们正常的顺序。So I want you to remember the one word. 所以我请大家记住两句话。Called base sequence. 啊，碱基的顺序。Basic. Every disease is caused by base sequence change. 每一个疾病最根本的原因都是碱基的顺序的改变。That means the sequence of the A T G C the base changes its place. 实际上就是在说。像这四个 A T G C， 它们四个顺序会在改变。Isn't that so simple to understand what the disease are now? 大家现在是不是觉得人得病的原因是这样简单呢 ？Even do you have breast cancer? 即使像乳腺癌这样的疾病。Obesity. 
for example, diabetes, uh, liver cancer, these are all simply changing the sequence of the babies. So we can simply say, base sequence change. So we can simply say, base sequence change. And now we now we found out gene can change very easily because the genes has a sample structure. So we have today is this found genes is very easy to change because it has a sample structure. And we scientists really did not really know this for a long time. For a long time, scientists have been ignoring this fact. Finally, we know. All these important diseases people worry about is due to the gene changes. And the gene change can happen due to the uh, lifestyle. And that's why in China today, you call all these different diseases uh, wealthy and uh, rich diseases. It's interesting. And so I want you to remember, number one, gene can change. And gene can change without a special technique. Gene can change with your lifestyle. And normal gene can change to bad gene. And you can have bad diseases. Due to the bad gene change. Due to the bad lifestyle. See, I'm a physician. I used to be so frustrated. All doctors were so frustrated. Because we didn't know how to cure the diseases. Why? Because we didn't know the diseases are caused by gene change. We never even imagined that gene can change. Especially gene can be influenced by the lifestyle. We could never even dreamed about it. And today we found that out. Now we doctors are very happy. Ah, we found what caused diseases. If we come to the complete knowledge about genes in the near future, we can cure all the diseases. Isn't that wonderful hope? Now, we are not so sure how long it is going to take. Maybe 15 years or 20 years. 15年, we are hoping that we can artificially uh, repair the gene. And make abnormal gene into normal gene. And this is going to be cured. See, this is how uh, the doctors in USA, uh, they, uh, they congratulated themselves this way. Look at this. This is a cartoon. This is a cartoon. And this is Dr. Pose. Nurse, and they're solving problem here, working very hard. The doctors and nurses work very hard all day long. Just mopping this water. 
What causes this problem on the floor? 可是地上怎么会来的脏水呢 ？Because of this water faucet problem. 是因为水管出了问题。Yeah, there is a problem right here. 大家看到了，水正好从水管出来。And that water cannot be stopped. 这就是为什么水不停的往外流。And but we for a long time we didn't know the the problem was right here. 可是以前很长的一段时间，我们找不到问题出在了水管子上。So that's why all we could do was just mopping the floor. So we are doing is to mop the floor. This we call treating the symptoms. So the doctor put this kind of thing as treatment. And these are the these are the symptoms of this problem of faucet problem. So the doctor's effort is to solve the symptoms of the faucet problem. Now finally, we doctors may be able to go back to this waterfall to fix the waterfall. 最后呢，医生终于可以想到的是水管子出了问题，可以修理水管了。Okay. Now, I am a doctor. 我是医生。Who's been treating many patients, many diseases. 嗯，看过很多病人，也治了很多病。Without knowing this、uh, faucet problem. 却不知道是水管出了问题。So that's why I was treating symptoms only for a long time. 所以很久以来，我都是在针对病人的症状。And that's why we could never cure any disease. So, patients' disease is never cured. Any kind of treatment we have today is symptomatic treatment. We have today all the treatment methods are aimed at treating the symptoms. Now we need to figure out how to fix the genes. Now we need to figure out how to fix the genes. Now we need to figure out how to fix the genes. Now we need to figure out how to fix the genes. Now we need to figure out You want to know about that, right? You 是不是也想知道 ？And this series of seminar is about this. 嗯，今天的这个主题就是关于怎么样能够使基因变得正常。How can gene go back to normal? 基因怎么能够回到起初 ？But let me let me tell you the conclusion. 让我先告诉你结论。Genes can go back to normal. 基因是可以恢复到起初的正常状态。好。怎么怎么样呢？ We're gonna talk about it. 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 We're gonna talk For the same reason, gene also can change from from abnormal to normal. Gene 也同样可以从不正常的状况转回到正常的状况 That's why we have wonderful hope today. 这是为什么使我们今天的人们有了希望 Gene can change back to normal. And we are going to pursue on this. We will continue to pursue on how genes can change from normal to abnormal. Genes are how they can go from normal to abnormal. And how can genes go back to normal? Genes are how they can go from normal to abnormal. And I want you to pay attention to this series of lectures. So, please, 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 please,